So this is a video on how to remove the drawers from an all steel brand tanker desk. The four small drawers on the sides, those are going to have the same removal process. And they are on sliders instead of a rolling rail assembly like the bigger drawer. And the removal of these are pretty easy. So you'll take the drawer and you'll pull it all the way out until it hits the stop. From there, grab both sides of the drawer towards the front. You'll lift it up at a slight angle and then just kind of wiggle it side to side as you pull out. Once you get past the stops, you should be able to pull it straight out. These side extending writing areas will require tools. So to remove these, you will need a flathead screwdriver to remove that screw right under the surface. And then there's a stop right here that'll come out. And then it's just a matter of pulling this straight out. Now to reinstall these drawers, it's just the reverse of the process. You know, push the drawer in, making sure to align it with the rails properly until it hits the stop. Lift up a tiny bit, push it in more until you get past the stop, and the drawer is good to go. Now the center drawers, similar in design as these smaller drawers, but it's a little trickier just because it's wider. So to remove it, you'll pull it straight out to hit stop, lift it up, and then kind of wiggle and jiggle it until it comes out. And when you put it back in, you want to make sure that you're putting it in straight. If you have it slightly cockeyed, it's going to be tricky to get everything to line up correctly. As you can see here, I'm kind of struggling because I'm working around a tripod and I'm just not putting it in straight enough. Another thing worth noting that you can't see, since I'm in the way of the camera right now, the, uh, I believe they're probably nylon, the plastic sliders that these drawers slide on do break down from age. So that also makes it tricky to reinstall them. There we go, finally. <laughs> so now that I got lined up, I can start pushing it back in. Once you hit the stop, just raise it up a little bit, push it past the stop level it out and then just slide it all the way back in. Now the big drawer is a little bit trickier than the other drawers. So you'll take the drawer and you'll pull it all the way out and as you can see the rollers are coming out with it. And there's a locking mechanism on the rollers to prevent the drawer from coming all the way out. as you'll see right there. And what you'll have to do is on both sides, there's that mechanism. And you'll take your thumbs and you might have to push the drawer in just a little bit to release them. But you'll take your thumbs, you'll pull this mechanism back towards the front of the, the desk, I guess. Um, and then from there, Use your other fingers on your hand to kind of help guide the desk drawer back. Once you get past that stop, what I like to do is I will grab the drawer by this little handle hole in the back and then by the handle in the front. And I'll just slide it forwards until you're off the rails. Now, putting this back in is kind of tricky. So you'll want to push these roller rails back inside the desk. 
And hopefully I can get a better angle here without obstructing my ability to get the drawer back in. Too much zoom. There we go. So now take your drawer, one hand holding onto the front handle, one hand through the handle in the back, and you'll line it up with the, the roll of rails. You'll push it in, and it'll be able to go in quite a bit before you hit stop. From there, lift it up, and when you're lifting it up at that angle, just push in. And then once you go back down with the drawer, it should be back where it needs to be, and then you just push it back. So hopefully that's helpful. It's definitely a little bit trickier to do that big drawer because of the roller assembly. And thanks for watching.